Gary, we are talking about a cold start to the day again in a cold game tonight. A cold game, but uh, it's not going to be cold enough to make any snow. That would That's not going to happen. That's supposed to make us feel better? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I try to make it feel better. That's but, fair. Anyway, let's take a look at the numbers right now. It's 45 in Boston, and uh, it is 30s out in some of the suburbs. So uh, it is cold this morning, but it is going to warm up enough to produce rain here later this morning and this afternoon. So this is cold air at low levels here. We had some radiation cooling last night before the clouds. Clouds came in across northern New England. It's 38 to 40. Uh, about the same story in southern New England. 35 low temperature here in Bedford. 34 in Fitchburg. So you might think we could have some snow or ice, but that won't happen. It will be warming up uh, gradually up into the 40s and then eventually low to middle 50s for highs today. The middle 50s will be from near Boston and points south, and even down in the Cape will be in the upper 50s. It'll be a little bit cooler in northern Massachusetts northward. Most of the nation, if you're going to be traveling today, in pretty good shape. There's not much weather across the entire country for the most part 65 to 70 degrees are quite uh, widespread as a matter of fact we are watching a uh, category 4 hurricane willa uh, going to move on shore on the mexican coast here coming up for late today and it will be weakening but it's a powerful storm right now we also watch the storm in the western gulf of mexico some moisture from willa will uh, sort of converge, emerge with this system here, and that's the system which will give us some pretty good rain here on Saturday. In the meantime, this week's system is going to dive southeastward, sort of redevelop across southern New England. So by later this morning, we're going to see showers starting to develop here in Connecticut. There's where the new little low-pressure center is going to be developing, and that'll move northeastward toward Boston. So we get some heavier showers this afternoon, and then that low will move in toward the Gulf of Maine by early this evening. So most of the rain will be ahead of the low and we may just have a little leftover drizzle or a couple of light showers early in the game but for the most part it should be drying out just a slight chance a shower could happen during the game as these showers coming in from the west looks like they're going to rotate mostly up into uh, southern portions of New Hampshire so 49 at first pitch and most of the rain should be gone feeling kind of damp but not much rain falling just a chance of a shower it will be definitely dry for tomorrow night's game and a little bit windier and a little bit colder as well and then we get the rain coming up from that coastal storm that's going to be happening on saturday so there's your seven day forecast uh... It looks like after tomorrow's few little showers in the morning breaks of sunshine in the afternoon with a gusty cold wind but it's really going to be cold on thursday freezing cold to start and then it looks like it's uh, Friday as well. Very cold to start. And then it looks like raining here on Saturday. Heaviest rain in the morning. Maybe some coastal flooding early Saturday afternoon. And then milder for the second half of the weekend.